Hi, I'm Andre. I'm going to show you how you can apply artificial gravity to physics based objects. So please note that this will only work for objects that simulate physics. So in order to illustrate this, uh, we're going to make a helium balloon that rises up in the air. So let's see how it works. So we have all these balloons that bump into the ceiling and then they roll and fly away. And as you can see, uh, they look natural. They uh, uh, keep a vertical orientation as they should. So I'm going to really quickly go over the uh, method that I've seen others use for this, for applying gravity, which has some drawbacks. So the method is very simple. Each frame we take our uh, uh, the uh, acceleration that we want and we calculate the move the change in speed um, depending on the time that is passed between the frames and then we add that number to the uh, vertical velocity of the object so this has two drawbacks one is that as you can see here this object is implemented like that as we'll see, this actually keeps its orientation, doesn't orient it the, way, the right way up as these ones. So it doesn't look natural. And the other uh, problem would be that if we uh, update this every frame, if we use substepping for physics, uh, which actually means that it's going to calculate physics multiple times between frames, uh, that means that we'll, we'll uh, update the physics velocity only one time per frame. So that might give us problems. Okay, so I'll show you now my method, which actually consists in just adding a force to the balloon, which pulls it up, a continuous force. So um, let's. I'll just show you quickly the uh, collision of the mesh. So I'll put a link in the video description with this mesh so you can follow this more easily. Uh, but here you'll have to create the collision for the mesh. So I to create the collision uh, to approximate this shape I've used a sphere and a capsule. I encourage you to use a simplified collision like this because their surface is perfectly smooth as opposed to convex decomposition as you have here which will generate a surface made out of polygons and which will make the movement of the balloon weird when uh, it touches a surface so let's go ahead and create an actor So we'll add a static mesh for the balloon. And let's set its properties. So it's going to simulate physics. So we check that. We're going to change its mass to 0 0.01, which means that it's going to have a mass of 10 grams, which is very little, uh, which is normal for a balloon. And we're going to put linear damping and angular damping to 1 because um, we need to create the resistance of the air. So this simulates that. And we'll also leave enable gravity. And I'm going to show you later why. So we created our balloon. Now let's create the force and we'll use a physics thruster for that. A physics thruster uh, adds a continuous force to the component that it's parented to. So we'll have to parent this to the balloon and this force it actually applied in the location of the physics thruster in the relation to our parent component. So the force is going to be applied right here. So let's I'll put a thrust strength of 19.6 and I'll explain why later. And we'll have to, we'll have to check uh, auto activate because it's not activated by default. Now, the direction in which the force is applied to the object is actually the minus x. So it's this way. So we're going to have to rotate the physics thruster 
90 degrees on the y-axis to have it vertical like this upwards like that so we can already try this out and see how it works so you can see it looks like it works but if we rotate it too much then we get some weird movement right here and that is because the direction in which the, the force is applied is actually changing because the physics thruster is parented to the balloon. So if the balloon rotates like this, the force will be applied like that. So what we would want to do is keep um, the orientation of the physics thruster always up. So we'll do that by changing, by resetting its rotation each frame. So if we take the physics thruster here and we set its world rotation like that. If we go back here and we see it's minus 90, that should be actually zero. So it's minus 90 on the y-axis like that. So now the physics thruster should always point up no matter the rotation of the balloon. So if you try this again, and we try to move it, we will see that it will reorient it up. So that's what we want. And also, if we let it go in the air, it will orient it vertically. So that's basically it. That's how you can uh, create artificial gravity for an object. And um, it can be applied to whatever object you have. Now I'm going to go into the details, how I set up uh, the force and uh, how we can uh, make it, uh, how the object stays vertical. So let's see here. We have the, let's uh, see how I calculated the thrust strength. So let's, now we need, so we have here the balloon like that. Yeah. So we have our force upward and another force downward. And this, this is the gravity and this is our force. So the gravity will equal 9.8 meters per second squared. And this is what we have to find. So in order to apply, uh, to know the change in speed, will actually, so the force equals mass times acceleration. Acceleration is itself, is delta V, so the change is speed in the period of time. Now, because the time will consider one second, we'll just eliminate it, we'll get rid of it. So, we'll say that acceleration is the, uh, um, the delta uh, speed. So if we go back here and put this here, we'll have a delta speed uh, velocity, which we want it to be um, uh, 9.8 meters per second squared, actually. Uh, but because Unreal uses centimeter per second, that will equal 980 centimeters per second squared, actually. Uh, this is actually correct. It should be acceleration here because it's meters per second squared. Okay, so if we go back in here, we'll have force equals our mass, which if you look here, the mass is 0 0.01 kilograms. So we put 0 0.01 times 980. So that will give us a force of 9.8. Okay, so that means that 9.8, the force of 9.8 will actually counteract gravity. So in order to have an, a negative gravity, so this one uh, will have to double that. So we'll put times 2, which will give us 19.6. So that's how I arrived to this
value right here. So in order to uh, if you if if you do this uh, with a general object and you have different objects here with different masses, you're gonna have to go into the blueprint and in the uh, event begin play here, you're gonna have to recalculate calculate the, the thrust strength uh, in relation to your mass like I did right here. So this is for the strength of the thruster. Now I'm going to show you why it stays vertical. And this is important for every object that you um, <clears throat> create that you want to alter its gravity because the physics thruster that you see here acts in this point. Now the gravity that the object uh, is uh, subjected to actually acts in the center of mass of the object. We don't see it here, but it's somewhere over here. So the, our thruster pulls upward from here and the gravity pulls downward from somewhere over here like that. So that's why when we let it go, it stays vertical like this because there is one force that pulls up from here and the other one that pulls up from there. So if you want this to not have a certain uh, orientation, just make sure that you pull the thruster th exactly at the spot. You put the thruster exactly at the spot of the center of mass. And if you go here, you take the mesh, you can actually get the center of mass. Uh, center of mass. Sorry. Yeah, so you get this one and you set it, uh, you set the physics thruster there at the at the begin play because you cannot do this in the construction script because the center of mass is not yet calculated in construction script. So you have to do it here. So this is very important when you apply the forces because it will give a certain orientation to the object. So yeah, you can use this method for any uh, physics object that you uh, want to have gravity. So also if we put, yeah, so let's see if we put this 9.8, so it equals the gravity right here. Let's try again now. So we should see the balloon just standing in the air, like you see right here. So as you can see, it just stands there. It doesn't do anything. So it keeps its uh, movement and if we uh, we can also create more gravity for the objects by putting here minus so you would minus as you see it's hard to uh, see because we put some damping but there is actually more gravity on the object right now so yeah, so we can also, last thing, we can also change this. So, but of course, if we change this, we, sh we should make sure that we change it right here. So let's put a so gravity that it uh, goes sideways. Yeah, so let's put gravity that goes sideways. So we'll leave this to zero. So if you try again now, you see that it actually goes sideways so it pulls from there so we want if we want this to just be sideways we'll have to deactivate gravity right here so we will just go sideways like this so if you pull it from here it just flies away sideways yeah so that's basically it. I hope this helps you uh, for creating artificial gravity. If this has been useful, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.